Have you ever wished you could understand what someone is really thinking without them saying a word? I remember a time when I was in a room full of people and everyone seemed polite and friendly, but I could feel that not everything was as it seemed. Little expressions, gestures and body language revealed things that words didn't. That moment made me realize how much we can understand just by observing carefully. Today, I'll share some ways to pick up on these subtle signs, helping you gain insight into others' thoughts and emotions without them even realizing it. Let's dive in. The power of eye contact, seeing beyond words. Eye contact is one of the most powerful tools in understanding others, as it often reveals emotions and intentions that words alone may not convey. When we interact with someone, their eyes can tell us if they're being honest, interested, uncomfortable, or even hiding something. By learning to observe and interpret eye contact, we can gain insight into a person's true feelings and thoughts without them even realizing it. First, consider the nature of direct eye contact. In many cultures, holding eye contact is a sign of confidence and engagement, showing the other person that they have your full attention. However, prolonged or intense eye contact can indicate something more, possibly a desire to establish dominance or even challenge. If someone's gaze feels a bit too intense or unbroken, it could be a subtle signal of underlying tension or confrontation, even if their words sound friendly. This type of eye contact can make you feel as though they are testing you, gauging your reaction to what they're saying. On the other hand, if someone avoids eye contact altogether, this can reveal a lot as well. People tend to break eye contact when they feel anxious, uncomfortable, or are possibly hiding something. If someone frequently glances away, looks down, or shifts their gaze rapidly, it may indicate feelings of guilt, insecurity, or even deception. Imagine you ask someone a direct question, and instead of maintaining eye contact, they start looking around or avoiding your gaze. This behavior is often a subconscious attempt to escape the intensity of the interaction, a subtle clue that something may be amiss or that they're uncomfortable with the topic. Interestingly, the direction in which someone looks can also offer clues. Research in psychology suggests that when people look up and to the left, they are often recalling a memory, while looking up and to the right can indicate imagination or fabrication. Although this isn't foolproof, it can sometimes hint at whether someone is genuinely remembering an event or creating a story on the spot. Observing where someone looks as they respond to questions or talk about an experience can provide subtle yet powerful hints about their honesty. Blinking rate is another insightful aspect of eye contact. People tend to blink more frequently when they're nervous or stressed, which can be a subconscious response to discomfort or pressure. For example, if you're discussing a sensitive topic and notice the person starts blinking rapidly, this could indicate a feeling of anxiety or tension. On the flip side, if someone's blink rate is steady and relaxed, it generally suggests comfort and openness. Blinking is a small detail, but it's one that can reveal a lot if observed carefully in the right context. Pupil dilation is yet another fascinating element. Our pupils tend to dilate when we experience positive emotions, interest, or attraction. If you're speaking to someone and notice their pupils widen slightly, it's often a sign that they're genuinely interested or engaged in the conversation. Conversely, if their pupils remain small or constrict, it could signal discomfort, disinterest, or even distrust. This reaction is often involuntary, making it an honest indicator of someone's emotional response to you or the topic at hand. By paying close attention to eye contact, you can gather valuable information about others without them saying a word. From avoiding eye contact to intense staring, each variation provides clues about their thoughts, emotions, and intentions. Eye contact is truly a window into someone's mind, offering a deeper understanding of what they're feeling, even if they're trying to hide it. Spotting hidden emotions through micro-expressions. Micro-expressions are incredibly brief facial expressions that last only a fraction of a second, but reveal hidden emotions and thoughts. These fleeting expressions are involuntary, 
and occur when someone tries to conceal or suppress their true feelings. Because they're so quick, they're often overlooked, yet they offer valuable insights into what a person might be feeling beneath the surface. Learning to recognize these tiny expressions can be like uncovering a secret language, allowing you to understand what someone truly feels even when they're trying to hide it. One of the most fascinating aspects of micro-expressions is that they cover a range of universal emotions – happiness, sadness, anger, fear, disgust, surprise, and contempt. Each of these emotions has a unique micro-expression associated with it, making it possible to identify what someone is feeling, even if it contradicts their words. For example, imagine someone giving you a compliment but you notice a brief flash of contempt, marked by a slight smirk or a one-sided lip raise. This micro-expression might suggest that they don't genuinely mean what they're saying, hinting at underlying resentment or insincerity. Sadness and anger are two micro-expressions that are particularly telling in hidden emotions. Sadness, for instance, is typically shown through a slight downturn of the mouth and raised inner eyebrows. It's a subtle look, but if you catch it briefly in conversation, it could mean the person is feeling down or carrying an emotional burden they're not willing to share openly. On the other hand, anger often appears as a quick furrowing of the brows, tight lips, or a tensing of the jaw. Even if they're smiling or speaking in a calm tone, this flash of anger can reveal frustration or hostility which they may be trying to keep under wraps. Fear and surprise can sometimes be mistaken for one another, but the difference is in the eyes and mouth. Fear typically involves widened eyes and a slight parting of the lips, while surprise shows up with raised eyebrows and a rounded mouth. Imagine you're discussing something that could be uncomfortable or shocking, and you notice their eyes briefly widen with a flash of fear. This reaction might signal that they feel threatened or uneasy about the topic. Understanding these subtle variations helps you discern whether someone's reaction stems from genuine shock or deeper discomfort. Disgust is another powerful micro-expression that can reveal true feelings, especially in situations where people try to hide their distaste. Disgust shows up in a wrinkling of the nose or a slight raising of the upper lip, as though the person has encountered something unpleasant. Even if they're saying polite words, a quick flash of disgust can indicate that they feel repelled or uncomfortable with the subject, person or environment. Noticing this reaction can offer valuable insight into what makes someone uncomfortable, even if they're trying to stay polite or neutral. Contempt is perhaps the most intriguing and revealing of all micro-expressions. It's typically displayed through a small, one-sided smile or smirk, indicating a feeling of superiority or disdain. If someone flashes a look of contempt for just a second, it can be a subtle clue that they don't respect or value the conversation or person in question. This can be especially helpful in gauging someone's true attitude, as contempt is often hard to mask and can reveal hidden judgments they might not voice openly. While recognizing micro-expressions takes practice, it's a skill that can provide a deeper understanding of the people around you. Watching for these quick flashes of emotion can give you an emotional roadmap to someone's inner thoughts and feelings, enabling you to see beyond words and into their true emotional state. Mastering the art of spotting micro-expressions transforms your ability to read people, helping you connect on a deeper level and even navigate social situations with greater awareness and empathy. Body language secrets that reveal true intentions. Body language is one of the most revealing forms of non-verbal communication, often conveying intentions and emotions even more accurately than words. When someone's words and actions don't align, it's usually their body language that reveals the truth. Learning to read these subtle physical cues allows you to pick up on unspoken thoughts, hidden emotions, and genuine intentions, all without directly asking. From posture to gestures, each part of body language tells a story, 
if you know what to look for. One of the first things to observe is a person's posture. How someone holds themselves physically often reflects their attitude and level of comfort. For instance, someone who stands or sits with their shoulders squared and their back straight is likely feeling confident or open, while a hunched posture with rounded shoulders can indicate discomfort or a lack of self-assurance. In group settings, posture can also tell you who is feeling included and who might feel isolated. Those who lean slightly forward or angle their bodies toward others show openness and interest, while those who sit back, cross their arms, or turn slightly away may be distancing themselves, either consciously or subconsciously. Gestures play a crucial role in revealing hidden intentions as well. Open hand movements, for example, tend to signify honesty and willingness to engage. When someone gestures with open palms facing up, it indicates transparency and openness, creating a sense of trust. On the other hand, if someone frequently hides their hands in their pockets or crosses their arms, it can suggest defensiveness or reluctance. Crossing arms isn't always a sign of dislike, but in certain contexts, such as during a disagreement or tense conversation, it can indicate that the person feels guarded or resistant to what's being said. Another interesting aspect of body language is how people position their feet. While we often focus on someone's face or hands, the feet can be a surprising indicator of a person's true intentions. In general, people point their feet toward where they want to go or whom they're interested in. If someone's feet are angled toward you during a conversation, it's usually a good sign that they're engaged and focused. However, if their feet are turned away, it may indicate they're ready to leave or aren't fully invested in the interaction. This unconscious cue is particularly useful in gauging interest as people rarely realize where their feet are pointing. Proximity, or the physical distance someone maintains, is also a powerful indicator of comfort and intention. In social settings, people who feel close or want to build a connection tend to stand or sit within a comfortable, close range. If someone consistently takes a step back or positions themselves farther away than usual, it could signal discomfort or even distrust. Similarly, if someone leans in while speaking, they're likely interested and engaged, whereas pulling back could suggest disinterest or a desire for distance. This personal space adjustment happens subconsciously and reflects how the person feels about the interaction or the topic being discussed. Body orientation is another useful tool in understanding hidden intentions. When someone's body is fully facing you, it generally means they're fully engaged and open to interaction. However, if their body is angled away even slightly while their head is turned toward you, it might suggest divided attention or a lack of commitment to the conversation. For instance, if you're talking with someone at a social gathering and they keep turning their body partially toward others or the exit, it's a clear signal that they're not fully invested in the interaction or might be considering leaving. Finally, facial expressions are a critical part of body language, subtly conveying emotions and intentions even if they don't speak. A person's face is often the most expressive part of their body, and small movements, like a slight eyebrow raise, a lip twitch, or even a quick glance, can reveal what they're truly feeling. A genuine smile, for instance, involves not just the mouth, but also the eyes. If someone's eyes don't crinkle or light up when they smile, it's often a forced expression, indicating that their smile might not reflect genuine happiness or warmth. Body language is a complex but incredibly reliable indicator of someone's true thoughts and feelings. By paying attention to subtle cues like posture, gestures, foot direction, proximity, and facial expressions, you can learn to read the unspoken language of others, gaining a deeper understanding of their intentions. Each part of the body contributes to the overall message, helping you see beyond words and connect with people on a more intuitive, insightful level. Tone and speech patterns, what they really mean. 
The way someone speaks, their tone, pace, and choice of words often reveals their underlying thoughts and emotions, even when they're trying to keep them hidden. Unlike words, which can be carefully chosen, tone and speech patterns are more instinctive and can reveal truths that the speaker may not intend to share. Learning to listen for subtle shifts in these vocal cues can provide valuable insights into someone's intentions, comfort level, and even honesty, allowing you to understand them on a deeper level without them realizing it. One of the most telling aspects of speech is tone. The emotional weight of what someone says is often more clearly communicated through their tone than through their actual words. A warm, engaging tone typically indicates genuine interest openness or friendliness, making you feel comfortable and valued in the conversation. However, if you notice a flat or monotone voice, it can be a sign of indifference, boredom, or even irritation. This lack of vocal variation signals a lack of emotional investment and can suggest that the person is only going through the motions, possibly concealing a lack of interest or even dislike. Changes in tone can also indicate shifts in emotional states, especially during sensitive or confrontational topics. For instance, if someone's voice becomes slightly higher in pitch or starts to sound strained, it might indicate discomfort or anxiety. This shift could happen when they're feeling defensive or when they're hiding something, as increased pitch is often an involuntary response to stress. On the other hand, a lower tone or a suddenly quiet voice can signal anger or frustration as the person may be suppressing their emotions. Noticing these subtle changes in tone helps you understand when someone is feeling uneasy, even if their words appear calm or neutral. The pace of someone's speech is another valuable indicator. When people are excited or passionate about something, they often speak faster, with enthusiasm that's hard to miss. Conversely, when someone's responses are unusually slow or hesitant, it may be a sign of hesitation, doubt, or even dishonesty. People who are unsure about what they're saying or are carefully choosing their words to avoid revealing too much often slow down their speech. This measured pace allows them to think carefully before speaking, which can be a clue that they're concealing their true thoughts or feelings. Interruptions and pauses in speech can also reveal a lot. Natural pauses and breaks in conversation are common, but if someone frequently pauses mid-sentence or hesitates before answering, it might indicate that they're uncomfortable or unsure. They could be trying to construct a response that avoids certain truths or that aligns with what they think you want to hear. This can be especially revealing when combined with other cues, like avoiding eye contact or closed body language. If someone repeatedly stops to think before answering, especially on straightforward questions, it may be a sign they're hiding something or choosing their words very carefully. Word choice and phrasing also play a critical role in revealing someone's mindset. For example, people who genuinely care about your well-being or are interested in your thoughts, often use inclusive language, such as we or our, creating a sense of unity and mutual understanding. On the other hand, someone who's distanced emotionally might use more self-centered language, such as I or my, subtly separating themselves from you. Furthermore, People who use vague or indirect language when discussing sensitive topics may be trying to avoid direct answers, indicating a reluctance to be open or honest. Phrases like, I guess, kind of, or maybe, often soften their statements, adding ambiguity to their responses and allowing them to maintain a level of emotional distance. Sarcasm and subtle emphasis on specific words can also be revealing. A person who frequently uses sarcasm might be masking true frustration or resentment, using humor as a way to express negative feelings without openly confronting the issue. Listen for a slight emphasis on certain words which can indicate a hidden message behind what they're saying. For example, someone might say, Oh, you're so organized, with a tone that suggests the opposite. 
These small shifts in emphasis often reveal judgments or criticisms that they're not openly stating, offering a window into their true feelings. Lastly, consider the volume of their speech. Speaking softly can indicate shyness or a lack of confidence, but in some cases, it might also suggest that they're not comfortable with the conversation topic. Conversely, people who raise their voice or speak loudly may be trying to assert dominance or mask insecurities. Understanding personal space and boundaries. Personal space is a powerful, often overlooked indicator of how people feel in social situations and their comfort level with others. How close someone stands to you, or how they react to changes in proximity, can reveal a lot about their intentions, emotional state, and even the nature of your relationship. People instinctively adjust their personal space based on their feelings, so learning to read these cues allows you to gain insight into their mindset without a word being spoken. Personal space is often divided into zones, intimate, personal, social, and public. Each zone reflects a different level of familiarity or comfort. For instance, close friends or family members may stand within the intimate zone, which is about 0.1.5 feet away. If someone allows you into this zone, it generally signals trust, openness, or affection. On the other hand, if someone quickly steps back or angles themselves away when you approach, it can indicate discomfort or a desire to maintain boundaries. Recognizing these reactions helps you gauge their feelings toward you and can prevent you from inadvertently crossing boundaries that might make them feel uncomfortable. When someone stands within the personal zone, 1.54 feet, it usually indicates friendly yet professional engagement. This distance is common in social gatherings or casual interactions where people feel connected but not overly intimate. However, if you notice someone consistently keeping a bit more distance than necessary, even in casual settings, it could be a sign they're not entirely comfortable around you. They might feel wary or guarded, possibly signaling that they want to maintain a safe emotional or social distance. Conversely, if someone consistently stands a bit closer than this range, it might suggest strong interest or a desire to build a closer connection. An interesting aspect of personal space is how it shifts based on context and emotional state. In tense situations, people often create more physical space as a way to protect themselves. If someone backs away or takes a step back during a disagreement, it could indicate that they're feeling threatened or defensive. In contrast, people who feel confident or assertive in an argument might step forward, entering a space they normally wouldn't as a way to assert dominance or control. Noticing these spatial shifts can give you real-time insights into someone's emotional responses, helping you gauge how they feel about the interaction and respond accordingly. Additionally, body orientation within personal space plays a significant role in revealing someone's boundaries. Someone who stands directly facing you without turning away is often open and engaged, signaling comfort and willingness to connect. However, if they consistently angle their body slightly away, even if they're physically close, it could indicate that they're not fully comfortable or want to maintain a certain emotional distance. This body angle is especially telling in group settings. People often angle their bodies toward those they feel most comfortable or connected with, subtly including or excluding others from their personal space. Physical barriers can also give clues about personal boundaries. If someone places an object between you and themselves, such as a bag, phone, or crossed arms, they might be subconsciously creating a boundary. This behavior often signals that they're not entirely comfortable or feel the need to protect themselves emotionally or socially. For instance, in a conversation where a person consistently holds their coffee cup or phone in front of their chest, they might be creating a shield to establish distance. Recognizing these small protective gestures helps you better understand when someone feels vulnerable or guarded, even if they're outwardly polite or friendly. 
One of the most revealing situations for understanding personal space is in crowded environments like public transport or busy events. In these cases, people naturally have less control over their personal space. However, even here, you can observe micro-adjustments that indicate comfort levels. For example, if someone leans slightly toward you or maintains close proximity without shifting away, it may suggest a sense of ease or even interest. On the other hand, if they pull their body tightly inward or turn slightly away, it shows they're trying to create as much distance as possible, a clear indicator of discomfort. Ultimately, understanding personal space and boundaries goes beyond mere physical distance. It's about reading how people react when that space is breached, how they position themselves in relation to others, and the subtle ways they create or eliminate barriers. By observing these cues, you gain insights into their emotional state, comfort levels and intentions, allowing you to connect more deeply and respond in a way that respects their boundaries. Personal space is a form of silent communication, revealing truths about others' feelings and boundaries that words often cannot convey hand gestures, and what they tell you. Hand gestures are a powerful and often subconscious form of communication that can reveal a lot about someone's thoughts, emotions, and intentions. Unlike facial expressions, which are more directly controlled, hand movements tend to be instinctive and reflect a person's inner state. By paying attention to how people use their hands while speaking, you can gain insight into their confidence level, comfort, and openness. Hand gestures are like a silent language that, when read carefully, allows you to understand what might be going on beneath the surface. One of the most telling gestures is open palm movement. When people gesture with their palms open and facing upward, it usually signifies honesty, transparency, and a willingness to connect. This gesture can make them appear more approachable and sincere as it creates a sense of openness. Imagine someone explaining a situation with their palms up and hands moving fluidly. This typically indicates that they're relaxed, comfortable and confident in what they're saying. Conversely, if someone keeps their palms hidden or tightly clenched, it might signal discomfort, secrecy or a reluctance to fully engage. Another fascinating gesture is steepling, where a person touches their fingertips together while keeping their palms apart, forming a sort of pyramid shape. This gesture is often associated with confidence and authority, as it's commonly seen in people who feel assured about what they're saying or who want to convey control. If you notice someone steepling their fingers during a conversation, they likely feel secure in their position or knowledgeable about the topic. It's a powerful gesture that subtly communicates self-assurance, making it an important cue when trying to gauge someone's confidence level. Crossed hands or arms can indicate defensiveness or a desire to create a barrier. For example, if someone crosses their arms tightly across their chest, it's often a sign that they feel guarded, uncomfortable, or even resistant. This posture suggests a form of self-protection as though they're shielding themselves from potential discomfort. However, context matters. If they're cold or simply standing in a casual setting, crossed arms might not mean much. But in a conversation with heightened emotions or differing opinions, crossed arms can signal a withdrawal from open communication or a reluctance to engage fully. Fidgeting hands can be an indication of nervousness, anxiety or discomfort. People who are anxious or feeling pressured often exhibit small repetitive movements like tapping fingers, rubbing hands together, or twisting rings. These actions are generally unconscious attempts to release nervous energy. If you're in a conversation and notice someone frequently fidgeting with their hands, it might mean they're feeling uneasy, stressed, or even untruthful. Fidgeting can serve as a tell in high-stakes situations, subtly revealing that the person isn't as calm or confident as they may want to appear. Gestures directed toward the face, such as touching the nose, rubbing the eyes, or covering the mouth, are often linked to discomfort or an attempt to conceal something.
For example, covering the mouth while speaking or listening can suggest that the person is unsure or even hiding information. Similarly, touching the nose or eyes while talking might be a subconscious way of deflecting attention or avoiding eye contact. These gestures, while seemingly insignificant, often appear when people feel self-conscious or are trying to control the impression they give. Observing these movements can give you insight into moments when someone may not be entirely forthcoming. Pointing gestures, especially when they're directed at others, can indicate assertiveness or even aggression. When someone points their finger while speaking, it can be a sign of dominance or a desire to emphasize a point forcefully. This gesture is often perceived as confrontational, so people tend to react to it more strongly. If someone frequently uses pointing gestures, it might reveal a more assertive or controlling personality, or it could indicate frustration in that specific moment. Conversely, if someone avoids pointing and uses softer hand movements, it suggests a more open and collaborative approach to the conversation. Finally, hand gestures that mirror the other person's movements can indicate rapport and a sense of connection. When people are comfortable with each other, they often begin to subconsciously mimic each other's hand gestures and body language. This phenomenon, known as mirroring, signals a level of trust and alignment. For instance, if you're speaking with someone and notice they start to mimic your gestures, it's usually a sign that they feel in sync with you and are genuinely engaged. Mirroring is a subtle yet powerful gesture that strengthens connections, making it valuable in understanding social dynamics. Overall, hand gestures are rich with meaning and offer a unique glimpse into someone's state of mind. From open palms that signal honesty to fidgeting that reveals nervousness, each gesture provides clues about their true feelings and intentions. By paying attention to these cues, you can uncover layers of non-verbal communication that help you understand others more deeply and respond with empathy and insight. Hand gestures are a natural extension of thought, and when observed carefully, they speak volumes about a person's unspoken emotions and attitudes. The art of active listening for deeper insights. Active listening goes beyond simply hearing words. It's a powerful tool for understanding what someone truly feels or thinks, even when they aren't expressing it outright. Through focused attention, observing verbal and nonverbal cues, and responding thoughtfully, active listening allows you to pick up on subtle clues that reveal hidden emotions and intentions. This skill helps build trust and rapport, making people feel genuinely heard and valued, while also allowing you to uncover insights that aren't immediately obvious from what's being said. A key component of active listening is maintaining full attention. When someone is speaking, make a conscious effort to focus solely on them, putting aside distractions and maintaining eye contact. This undivided attention sends a clear message that you're fully engaged and interested in what they have to say. Often people will open up more when they feel that their listener is truly present, and they'll be more likely to share details or emotions they might otherwise keep hidden. Listening without interruption also gives them space to fully express themselves, creating an environment where they feel safe sharing more deeply. Mirroring or paraphrasing is another valuable active listening technique. When someone shares something important, paraphrasing their words or mirroring their statements back to them shows that you've genuinely understood their point. For example, if they say, I'm really stressed about the upcoming project, you could respond with, it sounds like this project is really weighing on you. This technique not only clarifies their feelings, but also often leads them to elaborate further, providing you with deeper insights into their thoughts and emotions. Mirroring also reassures the speaker that you're fully tuned in, strengthening the sense of connection and trust. Picking up on emotional cues in someone's tone of voice or choice of words is also an essential part of active listening. 
When someone is frustrated, they might speak more quickly or use harsher language. If they're feeling vulnerable, they may speak more softly or use tentative language. By tuning into these nuances, you can understand the emotional weight behind their words and respond in a way that acknowledges their feelings. A simple response like, I can hear that this is really upsetting for you, demonstrates empathy and makes them feel understood, often encouraging them to share even more openly. Non-verbal cues are just as important in active listening as the words themselves. Observing body language, such as crossed arms, fidgeting, or a relaxed posture, can reveal a lot about someone's state of mind. For instance, if someone crosses their arms and leans back while speaking about a sensitive topic, it could indicate that they're feeling defensive or uncomfortable. By noticing these cues and responding thoughtfully, perhaps by gently shifting the topic or offering reassurance, you create a more supportive environment where they feel comfortable continuing the conversation. Small gestures like nodding or leaning slightly forward can also encourage them to keep talking, as these nonverbal signs of engagement show that you're fully invested in the interaction. Another powerful technique in active listening is asking open-ended questions. Instead of questions that can be answered with a simple yes or no, open-ended questions invite the person to explore their thoughts and feelings more deeply. Questions like, what's been on your mind lately? Or, how did that experience make you feel? show a genuine interest in their perspective and encourage them to express themselves more fully. These questions often reveal deeper emotions or concerns that the person may not have initially intended to share, giving you a richer understanding of their inner world. Empathy is the heart of active listening. When you listen with empathy, you're not just processing the words, you're trying to step into their shoes and see the situation from their perspective. This empathetic approach not only builds a deeper connection, but also gives you insights into the emotions they may be hesitant to express openly. Phrases like, I can imagine how challenging this must be for you, show that you're not just hearing their words, but feeling with them which often encourages them to be more open and honest. Finally, silence is an often underappreciated tool in active listening. Allowing moments of silence after someone speaks gives them the chance to process their thoughts and can lead to them sharing more than they might have initially planned. Silence creates space, letting them know that you're patient and willing to hear everything they have to say without rushing them. In these quiet moments, people often feel more comfortable revealing deeper thoughts and feelings, knowing that they have your full attention and support. And active listening is an art that, when practiced skillfully, reveals a wealth of unspoken truths. By fully engaging, showing empathy, and responding thoughtfully to both verbal and nonverbal cues, you create an environment where others feel safe, valued, and understood. This approach not only strengthens relationships, but also provides you with a deeper, more genuine understanding of the people around you, allowing you to see beyond their words and truly connect with them on an emotional level. Thank you for watching. I hope these insights on understanding others and reading subtle cues will help you connect more deeply with the people around you. Have you ever noticed these signs in your interactions? Let me know in the comments I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Your support makes a big difference and helps us grow. Until next time, stay curious, stay connected, and remember, sometimes the most important things are communicated without words.